Accidental warriors asking Aquila or anyone, how do we get out of severe depression? So if any one of you have had depression or are still dealing with it or have anyone in your circle that has depression and you've heard or know of some ways how to deal with depression, please share here in the comments, you know, talk about it. People need help and this time and need and all that stuff. From my perspective, it's not an overnight thing. It's not like you're going to do this one technique and all of a sudden it's going to go away. It's a work in progress. It's every day, little by little, you do little things. Like, I've had depression for a long time, and I think it still comes up once in a while. <laughs> like, it's, like, I'm not aware of it, but my standards are, <laughs> you know, like, it can be so bad, and just a little bit above bad is my normal, you know. So I wouldn't say, like, yeah, like, this is what you do. But from my perspective and what I've been doing for myself, it's little everyday things. Focus on yourself first. You have to make yourself a priority. You have to, you know, like, okay, the world, you cannot change it and control it. You can control yourself. So start with what can you control? You can control yourself, what you focus on, what you do, how you act, how you feel and everything else. So even if you're like, okay, this is too much, turn off the news. Like disconnect yourself from everything that's going on, even, if, even just for a day, an hour. You don't have to like be ignorant and I don't care about anything else. No, you do care a lot. But for an hour, make yourself a priority. Five minutes, 10 minutes, you know, if you if you can just one minute, you know, like that's, that's a good thing. And you have to find a way to express yourself. If you have someone to talk to, great. If not, pick up a journal, a little book and write a note to yourself, write a letter. Maybe think of like, I have a best friend and they want to know all about me. Or write about yourself and just let it all out. You have to express yourself. You have to express how you feel. A lot of these emotions, like, you know, it's overwhelming. And once you keep it all inside, nothing's going to change. That emotion stirred up is going to gather around and just going to build up. A lot of things. You're not seen. You're not understood. And a lot of things will build up where no one's stealing your value. No one's hearing you. No one cares about you. And when that builds up, you're going to explode. You're a ticking time bomb. So to find a minute, five minutes a day to just pick up a little notebook and write, you know, like how you feel, what are you experiencing? The things you've been thinking about, you know, like, man, it's been really hard. Like, I hate this world. I can't believe what's going on. I can't tolerate it. I hate like, you know, like my country's being seen as Nazis and terrorists and everyone hates us. I, I don't know what goes gonna happen next. And you're like, God, do not. And, Take your time to write it all out. I would say typing it out on a keyboard would be great, but there is some magic about writing with a pen. So it takes a bit more, a bit longer. You'll have to write this like practice writing with your, with your hand if you don't do it often. But there is some magic in swinging and doing your hand and using these like things, and it's gonna be like a bit more of a expression rather than just typing don't let your fingers move like that use your hand there's there's a lot and with that you know okay you found a way to express yourself allow yourself to either go for like a little i don't know dessert award yourself like you did something good you might have maybe worked out you you might have done like five push-ups five squats yay i fucking worked out first time in the whole year yay let's go it can be like that Go on, award yourself. You did something good. Like, we forget to award ourselves. Like, for me, like, find a rewarding thing. Do you like coffee? Do you like ice cream? Do you like chocolate? Something that works for you? Go for that. A little reward. Just allow yourself to experience that little bliss. I love fucking chocolate. I so love the chocolate. And in Lithuania, we have these curd goodies. And it's just like, it's like literally, like, curd with a bit of, like, a... Uh, chocolate covering and stuff, it melts in my mouth, and I'm just gonna make my morning perfect. I'm gonna have a cup of cocoa, I'm gonna have my little curd goodie, and 10 minutes of like, <sighs> I love it. My tongue has been pleased. My brain has picked up and it feels happy. Yay, a little bit of dopamine, a little bit of like um, serotonin, and all like, yay, that's great. Now that you've pleased yourself, you have to find little things in life that gives you confidence. You know, <laughs> yeah, free push-ups, like, see, like, that's exactly the thing. You know, like, yeah, you have to watch your body and everything else. But in times like this, when you're feeling depressed, you have to make yourself a priority in lots of ways, and you have to reward yourself. And for me, like, you know, 
I take Tony Robbins' six basic human needs because it works. I've tried it out, and I started, like, when I was feeling depressed, when my whole world was been falling apart and I've had nothing, okay, the first human need is certainty. So, you still might have a roof over your head. You still might have some food to eat. Great. For me, I would feel better if I would make my bed. I started with, I'm gonna make my bed. Oh, look, I did something. And you have to clap your hands, like, yay, look, I made my bed, I feel great. Fuck yeah, man, I made my bed, can you believe that? And give yourself, like, little goals throughout the day. As simple as, I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee. I'm gonna drink a glass of water. That's a goal. Simple things, don't go over the board, simple things. You did that, take a win. Hey, I decided to do something, and I did it. Look at me, I achieved my goal. And... It creates, like, you know, humans are competitive. So once you reach your little thing, you know, hey, you did it. Take a check mark. You're like, yay. Little things like that. Working out, moving your physical body. <sighs> Try it out right now. Yeah, feeling depressed. Like, shallow breathing. Not the, not the best bow posture and everything. Like, <sighs> this life sucks. And the worse we feel, the more in this ball we get where we don't want anything. We close up. We do that. Right now, either stand up, you know, or like, okay, your shoulders go back. You're like, yay, okay. Lift your head up, I have a double chin, woo, wait some more. But, doesn't matter. You lift your chin up, you let yourself to breathe, breathe more, head up, chest back. Stand up, for example. Yeah, I'm not like fucking looking perfect, but stand up, yeah? Okay, you have this posture, you have this up. Move around a little bit, dance around. But, if you're sitting, not doing shit, you're gonna feel like shit. So... This little thing. Put yourself in a hero posture. Okay, one minute. Do I have, like, how stupid do I look? Pretty stupid. Doesn't matter. Okay, and just stand in that for a minute. 30 seconds. Allow yourself to take that hero position. Head high. You don't have to feel great. You don't have to think shit. You don't have to prove it to any, like anyone. But just 10 seconds, 30 seconds. Just do that. That alone makes your body chemistry work. Okay. You got some breathing, you got a better posture. Are you depressed now? Well, it's not a chronic thing. It comes and goes. The more we focus on our habits, how like how we act and feel and think daily, we're gonna stay in that thing. So you literally have to change up your habits. Right now, like stand up, dance around for a second. Hey, like I know, like I've been watching that stuff. I've been watching Tony Robbins. Not too much, but Certain things is, are like really helping. Like right now, like I'm taking like, hey, I'm feeling depressed. I'm feeling like shit. I have to come on YouTube and make a video. I have to come here and I don't know what to talk about, but how do I give you any value? And I use Tony Robbins things because it lifts me up and somehow I can pull it off. And, you know, I'm not the best, but it works a little bit here at the time. For example, before I start my stream, like, okay, no idea what I'm going to talk about. I feel like, well, how do I give anything to you? And I'm going to do my posture. I'm going to dance around a little bit. I'm going to go like, okay, it doesn't matter. Me, it doesn't matter. Fuck me. But I have to use my being as my essence to give something to you. And when I put like you way above me and just serve you somehow, even this, like getting out of the depression, it's not an overnight thing. But, a little bit. <laughs> Is there a yoga course on... <laughs> no, I don't have a yoga course. But, yeah, come on. Um, like, really, will you watch my crappy video file upload? Yes, please, send it to me. I'm gonna watch it. I can make a reaction video. I can make a reaction video to your video. <laughs> there we go. But, little things like that. You know, like, you feel depressed, you add little goals, you find ways to express yourself. Expressing yourself is such an important thing. I had no idea in my entire life. Like... I've been a quiet little thingy, now we're talking about myself. So, so for me to like, hey, someone listens to me, all of you watch my video, and you're actually like non-judgmental, you're here for me, it feels fucking awesome. I'm, I'm like really grateful, you know, it's like so it's, it's a big thing for me. And little things throughout the day, just little goals, little exercises, we are, or like most of us are looking for Techniques that will change your life like that, but it eventually all comes down to basics People where is your water? Do you have your water nearby? 
If you're at home, if you have water, take some time, take a moment to drink some water. Mmm, three sips of water. Go on. Not coffee, not tea, not juice, water. It's a simple thing like that. And it's silly, but breathing, drinking water, moving around, little goes throughout the day, and you do it constantly, every day, little by little. You don't have to feel great, but if you practice it, you're building a muscle. Because when things like that happen, it's overwhelming. It's too much. And we fall out, you know, like, yeah, you might have been taking care of yourself, but one day you don't eat your apple a day. And it becomes easier to just, okay, maybe tomorrow, you know, I'll have cake, or maybe tomorrow I won't work out, or maybe tomorrow is the other thing, and, you know, it's, it's just not gonna work. So every day you do little things to help yourself. DDR master. <sighs> okay, that's pretty cool. So yeah, little things. Just build your muscle. Simple techniques. It's like learning martial arts. Sometimes there are like four or five key basic things that you have to master and you can win any fight. And you don't need any special techniques that will take you years to master and everything else. None of that. So yeah. I don't know, like, for me, I'm, I'm still learning. I'm still learning to love myself. Recently, like, you know, I injured my back, like, well, while working out. So when that happened, I'm like, oh, shit, you know, like, I know how bad it feels when my teeth are hurting or something else. So I'm like, okay, I have to work on myself, put myself as a priority. And even, like, recently I've been to that uh, Yume Ho therapy. They followed me like an origami. It was the weirdest thing, because I, I don't allow people close to me. I'm very, like, we can be friends over a distance. <laughs> you have to be really, really good to me, or, like, um, I have to trust you enough to allow you so close to me. So when that happens, you know, me being full and everything else, my body, like, felt amazing. Like, I've never had those releases, and I, I've realized a lot of my scoliosis, my posture, and everything that I am... You know, there's been a lot of bullying in school, there's been a lot of stuff that built up and I just had to close up. And everything I was, that little confidence as a kid that, you know, like, kids are innocent and they're not programmed by the world yet. And they have that love, they have honesty, they're eager, they have it all. And, you know, when crap happens, you close yourself up. So for me, you know, like, even like, okay, hey, the guy told me that I'm walking like a robot. I literally have to walk and move my back, because I've been walking like this. Like, I barely move. I literally have to move to size right now. So, for me, I'm learning how to walk again. Every time my dog takes me for a walk, I'm learning how to put my feet and like, okay, look, I'm moving to sides. I'm doing a thing. I'm learning how to breathe differently. And it's everyday practice. I'm learning how to be human. <laughs> like, you know, like it's, it's, it's funny, but everyday things. It's, it's like a muscle. So... That's my perception, you know, like, <sighs> depression is not something easy to beat, it's not an overnight thing, there's a lot of effort that goes in, but you have to start very, very simple, very small, and every single thing you do for yourself is a win, and once you build yourself up to, you feel enough, like, you feel like, hey, you know, I've made my bed, good for me. I actually took a shower and I put clothes that I like to wear. I feel comfortable. I like looking at myself in the mirror. Things like that, that make you feel good. And then, you know, you have a perfume? Great, use that. You have a tie you like to wear? Use that. You like food you like to eat? Go for it. And with those little thingies, you build yourself up to where I feel good enough to do something for people. And maybe if I can serve, serve you somehow. For me, great, I have a YouTube channel. I can actually talk to you, and you're listening to me. Oh my god, that feels great. And that, like, you know, like, contributing to someone feels freaking awesome. So, yeah. Exactly, like, what Riley's saying. I think we get addicted to our depression, too. Like, it becomes comfortable. Exactly. This is our comfort zone. You know, things happen, and we get into that place where we feel like shit. We feel like it's it becomes a habit. You know, you... You try to change something, you try to get better, you try to work on yourself, and it's just gonna happen because 
you will not allow yourself to go higher. Your standard is feeling like shit, feeling a bit depressed, worrying, anxiety. And once you start getting better, achieving more in life, you will sabotage yourself. Your brain will work differently. You'll say stupid things. Things will slip out of your hands and somehow problems will appear where you're going to lose everything because that greatness is not your standard. That standard, your brain tells like, hey, nah, uh Billy, you're used to being all fucked up. You're used to being depressed. What the hell are you doing up there feeling happy? Go back down and your brain will sabotage you. You're unconsciously going to attract things in your life that will, you know, make it all fall apart. So you constantly have to work on getting better and making your standard better when it's not, it's not bad enough. Where it's actually like, hey, I enjoy living. I enjoy life. So, like Yoga was saying, I have realized I like being depressed. Well, there you go. There you go. So, like, a lot of takes on it. It's not an overnight thing. It's a habit. And same way with, like, um, it's a habit sitting like that. You've been feeling depressed, like, uh, well, change the posture. Boom. And you go like that. And change the posture. Boom. Like, so it's a workout. You have to, like, kind of hit yourself, push yourself, little things like that. But it's practical. Very practical little things. It's all about how you feel and how you act. You have to move your body. You have to do certain things. Just get out of your comfort zone to dance around for five seconds while no one sees. Give yourself a high five in the mirror every time you look at yourself. And go in front of the mirror and give yourself a high five. So, it's little things.